Eric Moade at Moade.com. Let's take a look at the risk of owning three times ETFs because they trade a little different from what you might be trying to capture in the main index. Here we are looking at the Chinese ETF, YINN. Number one, let's take a look at what the Chinese market did from the lows here of 2014 to the highs. It was a nice gain of 163%. If you take a look at the three-time ETF, it gained way better than that, which was 285. So now that's the upside. But let's take a look at the downside. Since the high, we can see that the Chinese market is down about 45%. And it took four months to go down. So down 45% and four months down. If you take a look at the three-time ETF, what you notice here, it is down 78%. And it had five months down so there is one difference and the other major difference here we can see is that while the Chinese market is still about 80 percent between the current price here and the lows of 2014 so it's already up 80 percent now take a look at what the three-time ETF is doing if you bought it at the lows of 2014 as of right now you are upside down so really I think you're better off owning the main index itself if you can find something that captures the Chinese ETF or maybe any, any other similar ETF you are following. Some of these three-time ETFs are very risky. Number one, on the way down, obviously, you're going to lose a lot. And the fact that you give back all your gains, they just act different. They don't necessarily give you the upside that you might need because the risk is right there in your face. Be careful with the three-time ETFs. Eric Mwadid, Mwadid .com. Good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S.